Hello, Wisdom Seekers, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll learn your tarot energy for the week ahead and discover a gemstone that can support you with that situation. This is an exercise in strengthening your intuition and learning how to use gemstones to support your everyday life challenges. It will also help you learn how to receive the tarot's guidance and use it to navigate life situations. For those new to the channel, welcome. I'm Shannon Marie. I'm a published author, certified gemologist, and a Reiki teacher. These videos are designed to help you learn more about gemstones and how to use them to improve the quality of your daily life. For those who haven't experienced one of these readings, gaze at the picture of the cards. Choose card A, B, or C. Then pause the video and comment your choice below. Allow your intuition to be your guide. See which card draws your eyes or attention. Then, when you comment with your card selection, you are accepting the message from your intuition and developing a stronger connection and trust in your own inner wisdom. Then, resume the video. You can use the links in the description box below to go straight to your card choice. I will describe the message of each card and provide a gemstone to support you with the energy of that card. Allow yourself to accept what resonates for you and release what doesn't. And just a note from past readings, these gemstones are chosen very intentionally. Each gemstone is unique, even though qualities may be similar to others. If you don't have this stone, rather than ask for a substitute, I advise that if you really feel called to this reading and stone, it's an opportunity to purchase it and add it to your crystal collection. The deck I'm using today is the Revelations Tarot. At this time, take several moments, several deep breaths, and select your card. If you chose card A, your card of the week is the King of Wands. The theme of this card is the entrepreneur. It is the card of ultimate creativity, innovative thinking, and leadership. In many versions of this card, the king is holding the torch of creativity in action. This card indicates that you are at your peak for new ideas and creative instinct. If you've been pondering starting a project, business, or a leadership position at work, now is the time to work on it. This card encourages taking action to bring your ideas to fruition. This is the time to share your enthusiasm and ideas with the world. There's also the flavor of authenticity and originality with this card. Embrace who you are and the ideas that can only come from your unique energy and inspiration. Don't censor or modify your ideas to suit a certain group of people because you think it will be more appealing to them. Trust your instincts and be yourself. These opportunities could arise at work, volunteer organizations, hobby groups, or be your own business or creative venture. If you've received this card this week and you're not sure how it applies, it could indicate that your life is feeling a little stagnant and could use an influx of new ideas or a change to your routine. If this message is arising for you this week, the gemstone that can support you is Fire Agate. And this is the Stone of Ignition. This stone acts as a catalyst for awakening and helps one to receive new ideas. It renews vitality, passion, and creativity. It is a powerfully energetic stone. It raises motivation, creativity, and passion. It allows us to take a vision and manifest it in reality. This stone boosts confidence, leadership, and motivation. This stone helps you unleash your inner creator and leader. Sit with Fire Agate to discover how you can take the next action on your creative idea or how to introduce something new into your life. If you chose card B, your card of the week is the Ace of Wands. The theme of this card is Ignition. This card indicates the start of something creative and exciting. 
It could mean the start of a major project, a new business, starting a new job, or even a pregnancy. You may have the perfect idea arise, that aha moment, and everything clicks into place. If you've been struggling with a problem or unsure of what to do, inspiration and answers will strike. This card could indicate that the idea you've been pondering for a long time refuses to be ignored any longer. The fire has been lit and it's time to manifest your idea into being. Ace of Wands could indicate that you finally discover your life or soul purpose. You may have encountered a situation in life that was the final puzzle piece to your destiny and acted as the key to unlocking your life path. There is a lot of energy, action, and forward momentum in this card. If you've been considering starting up something you've been dreaming about for a while, this card is designed to move forward. The time is right. If you're not sure what this flame is right now, sit in quiet and open to the wisdom of the universe. You may be subconsciously blocking message. All you need to do is offer the invitation and the inspiration will arise. If this card speaks to you, the gemstone that can support you is carnelian. This is a gemstone of energy and creation. It inspires ideas, motivation, courage, and the determination to bring dreams into reality. Carnelian removes creative blocks and allows ideas and inspiration to flow. This stone helps you turn a vague idea into a tangible reality. It assists your planning process and lights the way for your project to get started. Sit with Carnelian to fan the flame and help you succeed. If you chose card C, your card of the week is the devil. The theme of the devil card is attachment. This is quite a complex card and is often viewed as one of the negative cards in the deck. He is certainly a warning but it comes in a variety of flavors. Firstly, the devil can indicate striving towards wealth over anything else in life. This devil sits blissfully on a pile of gold coins. One can become obsessed with gathering wealth, power, and luxuries. This can lead to alienation from loved ones, disconnection from spirit, and losing out on the rejuvenation of nature. This doesn't have to be about money, per se. Striving for social media followers, likes, and popularity is a modern manifestation of this card's energy. Secondly, the devil can represent feeling trapped or enslaved in an unpleasant situation. This could be trapped in a toxic job that is financially stable, bound in an unpleasant or abusive relationship for fear of leaving or also for financial stability surrounded by vampiric friends that drain your energy or any situation in which you feel stuck. Keep in mind that we all still have a choice. With careful consideration and planning, we can free ourselves from these binds. And then finally, keep in mind that while we are in uncomfortable situations, people tend to overindulge in comfort items to avoid looking at their life any deeper. This card warns against alcoholism, overeating, overspending, gambling, too much media, sexual addictions, or anything that disconnects us from life and could make our situation even worse. If this message is arising for you right now, the gemstone that can help you is amethyst. And this is the stone of spirituality and contentment. It helps to keep us connected to our higher source and our highest nature. It protects against addictions and cravings. It's important during difficult times to keep connected to our guardians, to meditate, listen to our inner wisdom, and look for opportunities to healthily extract ourselves from entrapment. This also reminds us that the wealth we should be seeking is with the divine, within ourselves, not within our bank account. Sit with amethyst. If you feel trapped, or beholden to a situation or craving and discover how you can free yourself from that situation. Thank you so much for sitting with me this week to explore what energy may be arising for you this week and which gemstone can help you. 
If you've been watching these videos and you enjoy them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you'll get an email as soon as a new video is released. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you again soon.